Hello and welcome to this midweek reflection from the Mance with me, Ian, Minister in Bothwell. From my home into yours, it's great to have you and may you know God's peace and God's presence during our time together, whenever and wherever that may be. Today I want to talk to you about storms because in Scotland we are about to be hit in the next days by two storms. The first is due to come in the next few hours with winds of up to 80 miles an hour in the area where we are. Storms of course come with lots of problems. We worry about roofs, about trees falling. We worry about our own safety. In the middle of a storm it's hard to navigate and really know where we are and in life we are also in a bit of a storm. The last years have been difficult for us and we're now navigating our way out into perhaps a more a, pace, a place of more stability. As a family we are in our own mini storm at the moment as we are currently in lockdown. Richard got a call last week to say that he could have surgery something we've been waiting for two years for. As a result, we have gone into complete lockdown as we await nervously the date on Friday. Of course, we hope and we pray and we know that Richard will be okay, but it's still a concern. And we find ourselves being tossed by the worries and by the voices in our heads. But I'm reminded of how Jesus walked out into the storm. Not away from the storm, but he walked into the storm and through the storm and said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, for it is I. Perhaps these are words that we need to hear today. The voice of Jesus walking into our storm and telling us, that everything's going to be okay, because we are not alone. So listen now to the word of God from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. And after he dismissed the crowds, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. For by this time the boat battered by the waves was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear, but immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Let us pray. Loving God, as we find ourselves in our own storms, our personal storms, our national storms, our international storms, Lord, walk into the storm with us and say, Take heart, for it is I. Do not be afraid. Walk towards us, Lord, in our stress, in our worry. Lord, remind us that we are not alone, for you are with us. And whatever may come, that we will never have to face it alone. Lord God, we give thanks for your peace, a peace which only you can give. A peace that can calm our troubled hearts, which steadies our ship and which navigates us into still waters. Lord, we continue to pray for the situation in Ukraine. We give thanks for apparent movement of Russian troops, of hope dawning on the horizon of peace. And Lord, we ask that your peace may be known for those who are living in potentially what may be a war zone. And Lord, we pray for those who face war around the world, who face oppression, for those in Afghanistan who learn to live once more with the Taliban, with rules which restrict the rights of individuals and especially of women and girls. Lord, we ask for 
your wisdom, your hope, and your courage to make a difference there and around the world. So Lord, hear us now as we say together and calm our hearts the words which you taught us to say, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Have you heard God's voice? Has your heart been stirred? Are you still prepared to follow? Have you made a choice to remain and serve? Though the way be rough and narrow, will you walk the path that will cost you much and then And believe it could be 